all right guys so welcome back to another video i am the one and only chef lee and as you can see i'm off duty today i'm making another video in the series of air fryer food i'm making dirty fries with mint slam and it's going to be amazing this is a dish that i wanted to do for a, a little while but actually ever since i got my uh, air fryer so after all the hard food and all the good food and all the rich food of christmas just want something a bit more low key a little bit easier to make so we're going to get into it so i'll sit back relax and uh, we'll get into it i'll see you in a bit peace guys as i said in the intro today we're making dirty fries but with minced lamb so i'm gonna have lamb i'm gonna have uh, scallions i'm gonna have uh fries i'm gonna have all different kind of sauces on there so it's gonna be nice it's gonna be colorful it's gonna be really beautiful and it's not gonna take too long to do so i'm gonna think it's gonna be about half an hour ish to get this all done and all knocked out so i'm not gonna time myself but the time now is is <coughs> 33 minutes past six there's the time will it focus well it is 33 minutes past six take my word for it and uh, yeah we're gonna see just how long it takes us to do it because it could be one of those quick and simple uh menu ideas uh because obviously with the air fryer it makes things a hell of a lot easier and a hell of a lot quicker again if you're new here please do go ahead hit the subscribe button hit the like button hit the bell notification because it really does help me out with the youtube algorithm and also it's a new year so i'd like to hit let's say 5,000 subscribers this year uh so i need your help to hit that mark so go ahead and do that right enough chit chat let's go ahead and get this food done because i'm really hungry and i'm looking forward to this because it's gonna be epic so let's do it so we've got some oil in the pan I have uh, one medium onion and two cloves of garlic. I'm going to go with that first. Just want to sweat these off, get some colour out of them. Also want to throw a little bit of thyme in there, add some flavour. go. Smells amazing already. Leave that for a few seconds. So now that I've got some colour coming through. I'm going to add in my mince. This is 475 grams of mince. Now I just want to brown this off. But while I do that, I'm going to be adding some stuff to it. <clears throat> so I've got some. Where are you? Some lamb seasoning. Some lamb seasoning. There we go. Some salt, some pepper, chilies, love me some chilies. I'm going to add some Canadian maple syrup. I'm going to add a bit of that. Love the flavour that this gives. I'm also going to add some jalapeno chilli jam. My wife loves this stuff, so she's been having it on pretty much everything. So I'm going to add one and two. <coughs> she got this. Uh, she got this stuff from Aldi. So, just in case you want to get yourself some, she swears by it. So, I just want to let all those flavours mix together. Still not fully cooked. This is going to take about 25 minutes to fully cook, and then I'm going to add some 
uh, tomato puree into it as well just to help it thicken down and then I'm just going to put it to the side let it relax let it cool and then I'm going to get the chips out and the rest of the stuff so it's been about 10 minutes 10 15 minutes and it started to thicken up with the juices so I'm just going to add some tomato puree into it about that much and that'll thicken it down nicely and then what I'm going to do is just move it over to zero out a bit I'm going to move it over to this hub right here and just let it um, just boil away for a little bit so I'm just going to leave that on low while it finishes just cooking away and by the way it smells mm, chef's kiss right next up fries so now onto the fun bit using the air fryer so I want air fryer one air fryer two I want to synchronize them I want to air fry uh, so I want to get ooh, my two sheets and I put them in there this is what's going to help me take them out and not make a mess everywhere so one in one and one in two let me show you what I'm doing so I'm going to put some fries in that one fries in that one so they're roughly about the same in each, I want to make sure that there's none over spilling on the sides of the uh, grease proof, otherwise that will defeat kind of the whole object. So I want to go in, uh, about 15-ish minutes, we'll try to see what that goes, air fryer 200 degrees, and go. So, while you was, while it was quiet time, and I, this was just cooking away, as you can see they're pretty much ready now, I added... One of these little Maggie cubes to the lamb, if camera focuses. There we go. Added one of those to it. So, keep you abreast of what I've done. I don't even know where you can get those, so I don't know. Anyway, next up, lamb is cooked. Lamb is cooked. Where's my plate? My hot plate. So all I want to do next is just add the lamb on top. Just like that. And on the second one. By the way, this smells divine. I can't even explain to you just how good this smells. I had a cheeky little taste while you was uh, off camera and mm, tell you. And then I want to put some, we call them scallions. Everybody else calls them spring onions. Go there. there next up is the cheese Let's grab a handful of cheese and then on we go with the cheese So far down, it's just probably better for me to. Beautiful. And then give that another four minutes, three or four minutes. So on, match, air fry, give it four minutes and done. Right, I'll bring you back in four minutes once that's all done. 
Right, so now that it's ended, I mean, just look how good that looks. So now is the fun part, trying to get it out without making an absolute mess. So, let me just adjust over here. Right, so this is why we used the sheets, these little bad boys, because now I should be able to just take it out and it's onto the plate. Beautiful like that. And then in theory, you could eat it just like that actually. And in theory, I should be able to, where is it? To just push this off and it should come out clean. Boom, that worked. Get rid of that. And then just add a couple of scallions on top. And a few chilies. Boom, and that is done. How good does that look? that was absolutely amazing <clears throat> i highly recommend you try that because it went down such a treat and the flavors were just molto bene <laughs> uh, so i just want to say thank you for making it this far in the video um, please do like share and subscribe because it really does help me out with the youtube algorithm and until the next time take care stay safe and i'll see you in a bit